Today we're going all the way back to 2011 when Riven got released to the game. We're going to be following the official guide by Riot Games. Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Riven, the Exile. When I first started watching the guide made by Riot Games, I already figured out that some of the runes and masteries and items are already changed. They are not the way they were 10 years ago. So I came up with a big solution. When taking a look at the older runes, you can actually try to copy them with the new bonus stats. And I came up with one into Adaptive Force, Armor and Magic Resist. The same thing applies for masteries as well, but you can compare this to the new runes system. And this is the closest that I could get. Riot also recommends you to max your W first, then your E and then your Q. And this is something that no one ever does. Luckily though, the items we had in 2011 are very similar to the items we have right now. It's just that the icons look differently. And the best of all, they recommend us to buy an Infinity Edge. I don't really think we're going to get that far in the game because games usually last between 15 to 25 minutes right now. We'll see. And lastly, Riot Games also recommends us to play with Exhaust and Flash. All right, guys, I already feel like I'm trolling in this game right now. I mean, the setup is really not that bad, to be honest. Like Conqueror Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, into Shield Bash and Bone Plating. That's good. But damage into Armor, into Magic Resist, taking Exhaust as my Summoner spell, having to max out my W into Shield into Q. I've never done that in my life. This is going to be very interesting. All right, let's uh, let's see how good this setup is. Like, ten years later. All right. One thing I've already noticed right off the start is that exhaust is definitely not going to help us in this lane. If we played against a Trinium or something, it would have been great, but not here. Not useful in this matchup, but we'll see. We can use exhaust for, you know, throughout the whole game, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to start taking the push here. He's probably he's very likely to go for the CS right here. I could go for like a full trade. We're starting off the lane with a very good trade right off the start at level one. This is good. Singe is really not that strong at level ones. And besides, we also had the push. So we've already got the first potion out of this singed. Oh, I missed that one. It was like three in total. I'm gonna place a ward down here. I'm expecting Xin Zhao to be top side very soon. We still have my potion. Actually, I want this wave to eventually like bounce right into me. I think that Xin Zhao is probably going to be ganking me a lot. I'm constantly like looking around the map, seeing where uh, Xin Zhao is going to be right now. Because either he's going to be topside right now and gank my lane through the river. Or he's going to be... Uh... Oh, I just missed that one. Yeah, okay. He's going to be bottom. Around this time of the game is when you really want to look at the map and see where the jungler is going to come from. Sin Zhao just showing up in bot lane, but usually junglers can also gank top lane. So you have to be very careful and you don't want to play too aggressive in this case. If the enemy jungler shows up in bot lane, that allows you to play super overly aggressive and take traits like this without having to place down a ward or to worry about the enemy team at all. We cannot fully focus on the Singed and take him down quite easily. Because we know that Xin Zhao is not going to be here for a while. Alright, putting my first point into my W. <laughs> I feel like I'm trolling. I literally feel like I'm trolling. But maybe, maybe it's like a secret, like, hidden, hidden thing. Maybe it's better than everything else and nobody has ever tried using it. Here we go, we get the first kill. At least my W is doing a lot of damage right now. I'm actually very mind blown with how much damage my W is doing, only having an extra point into it at level 4. You'd be surprised, you guys really have to try this out. Two long shorts, and I'll just get the potions with a ward. Okay, so. Yeah, like usually you want to be maxing your Q because. That's just the way, like, to do the most damage. But if you're maxing your W as the first ability, it's going to do a lot more damage in short trades. 
and you can use it a lot more often. You can actually spam your W more than ever. So I can quite understand why Riot Games is like recommending us to max W first. It's quite interesting. I want to experiment with this like a lot more. Okay, I'm going to be uh, taking a freeze right here. Putting another point to my W. Can't wait to like max my E after my W. Like see what it's going to be like. Where is that Sage right now? I'm going to hold it like this. Because it's getting like bounced right into me. It's going to go for the CS. I want like a tiny short trick. My W does like 148 damage right now. Which is actually incredibly good. Like for short trades. Uh, since I was currently bot lane. All right. Let's see how much damage I'm going to do with my W right now. At least I'm, I'm going to do loads of damage. Watch this. Watch this. Just one W. One W and one auto attack. That's just incredible. Going for another short train. Backing up again. Hold for Q. Oh wait, but Q does no damage right now. I'm going to go in right now. Okay. He's gonna. Uh, yeah, he's he's gonna do that. Why is that? I got him. Wait a second. Oh, my W does so much damage right now. It is actually not even that bad. Like in sh in terms of like short trades, it's actually good. I'm not even kidding. The fact that you do so much damage instantly, it just feels really good. A ton of hard push. And then we, uh, we're we back in afterwards. Also, the wave clear is not that bad. Well, at least the, the wave clear with my Q is it's terrible, but my W. Wait. Like, every single time I put a point in there, guys, for those that don't know, it's going to lower the cooldown, uh, as well as give you more damage. So we got Warhammer. The next thing that the guy was recommending us was to go Mercs as a first item. So we're going to go with Mercs here. I still feel like I'm trolling. My exhaust hasn't been that useful so far, but it's more because of the, uh, the matchup. It's just not that great uh, for exhaust, at least. Like, Exhaust is actually not bad of a summoner spell. If you play against, like, Trinomir or something like that, it's actually pretty good. I used to play uh, with Exhaust, like, if I play against Trinomir specifically. Stopped doing it a while ago because TP is still better. It's more efficient. Okay. Good. I'm gonna build up the wave again. Nice. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to build it up slowly so that whatever he does... We can try to trade him like under the turret soon. What can we do like... This? Oh, what? His damage is insane! Look at how much damage I'm doing my W, man. It's just an... Let me do that again. Okay, time to max E right now. Man, my damage on W is just incredible right now. Like, think about it. Since just like... He's got like 1200 HP or something like that. And the fact that we're doing like... Like, like a corner of his health bar just with an instant stun... Is just incredible, man. Alright, time to get my mercs. Here we go. So the guy is telling us to go for Hex Shrinker as the next item. Okay. Let's go Hex Shrinker. Here we go. Perfect. This It works perfectly against Singed. Oh, I got some ping issues for a second. Just spiking up a little bit. Alright, time to get back to lane. We're gonna go with, uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna straight, like, all in this guy. See if I can pull some damage on him. 
Ah, uh, never mind. He's not taking it. I think since Zhao's probably going to be topside soon, I have to be very careful right now. We definitely uh, don't want to fight Singe when, when since Zhao is missing on the map. If he's showing up, then we want to fight him. He's going back to lane. But my W being maxed out right now. And I'm about to be ganked. Wow, I am actually just... Okay, he flashed. I think I might die here. What? what? He's out of mana, he's out of mana! I'm fine. Alive. Ooh, that actually worked. I'm alive right now. Okay, I'm actually very glad my Mercs has definitely helped me here, thanks to the Riot Games guide. If, if I didn't go for Mercs right now, I would have probably been dead. However, um, W is now completely maxed out, 10 minutes in the game. We're going for this build so far. It's not that much damage because we're rushing like Mercs instantly, but... My W does now 223 damage. And is only a 636 Second, uh, seconds cooldown right now. That's incredible, guys. I mean, how much ability is do we have? We've like we've got like no ability. We've got like nine percent. That's nothing. And my W is like six seconds right now. I I think that's pretty uh pretty incredible. Uh, Zinsa's coming topside again. He's gonna be here. Am I right? Yeah, he's gonna be here. Let's see if they're going... I can fight them both. Uh, at least. I don't have that much ability, Haze, but... He's, he's starting to bait for me right now. He's, try he's definitely trying to bait. He would never walk up like this. Uh, well, let's go in. I got him. I just have to chase him up. Alistar's here? Wait, what? Okay, I'm getting 1v3 right now. Wow. I got him. I we got him too. My W's being maxed out, so does the most damage. My damage, my W does so much damage in this game. Like nobody expects it. I, it's just like an instant damage pop, man. I press one ability and it just does way too much. Alright, uh, time to go back. Okay, so the guy is now telling us to go for Hex Drinker. So we're going to go and build that right now. Uh, okay, got it. So the next item that the guide is telling us to do... Is to go for Ghost Blade. Let's go. Let's buy Ghost Blade. In 2K... Uh, 2K21. Alright, let's go, man. That Saint is currently getting destroyed by a 2011 guide. Nice. You only got one plating out of this. I'm actually being camped really hard by Zinzao. Unfortunately, though, we're playing with exhaust. We actually don't have TP. Just gonna hard push this. Probably uh, gonna roam afterwards. Would definitely not be surprised if uh, if Sinsao is gonna be here. I actually want to try to fight this guy. But he's, he's level 11. I'm level 10. He's pretty fed. There's also no uh, turret down here. He's pressing R instantly. Okay, this guy's up. Oh, he's got flash? I got you. He uh, went... Uh, whew. He went all in on me there. He's actually pretty fed. My Mercs have definitely helped me out again, guys. Also, my Hex Shrink has helped me out. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I'm trolling so hard. I got Lethati right now. 
We're good to go. Actually, I want to roam so badly. I just want to farm my wa farm my uh, farm my wave that like down there, and then just go mid lane, bot lane, and roam. In terms of my runes, my bone plating hasn't done too much so far, but it will get better soon. We've got a rep up. Whoops. All right. Got a hard push. Get the turret down for. Nice. They're fighting Jax right now. He's gonna die soon. I actually want to get this turret so badly. But we're still long. We're still far away. We are about 1100 gold away from getting my ghost blade right now. They actually surrender? We may not have had all of the items that were recommended from the guide. But I can 100% tell that this build is definitely not the best build right now. It's not really working that much at all. Uh, however, the skill order does definitely surprise me though. It is much better than I thought. Would I recommend any of this? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Just don't. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next run.